I'm uh, Michael Altman. I'm currently director of research at the MIT libraries and head slash scientist in the MIT program on information science. I am delighted to uh, formally announce the 2014 National Digital, Digital Stewardship Agenda. And over the, over the next six hours, I'll talk about the <laughs> details. <laughs> we'll read it back. Now, we over, over, we'll give you just a, a very brief uh, so answer to why, what, how. Uh, why do we all do this? Um, well, as we know, effective digital stewardship is vital for maintaining the authenticity of public records, for the scientific evidence base, for durable access to cultural heritage, and information about this, how to do it, and what to do, and what's going on is distributed across practice, research, sectors, disciplines, communities of practice. There's a diversity of uh, perspectives and organizations that are involved, and so that sort of sounds like us. Uh, why now? Well, um, there, there are two different factors at play, and um, we did this because of climate. Um, and climate, in that sort of meteorological sense, is what you should expect. Um, but also, our, our timing has been fairly good in terms of weather, which is what you get. Uh, so, so, you know, the climate in digital stuff is more more production, more publishing, more filtering, more access, and more learners and collaborators. Uh, but the weather this year has also been particularly interesting with massive open online courses, which are essentially marshalling digital content to enable learning at scale, with the White House move to make federally funded information open to the public, um, and with uh, commercial entities entering the field, and Amazon introducing its uh, solution to digital preservation, um, available at a low, low monthly rate. <laughs> so what, what does the document do? So the national agenda identifies the high impact opportunities to advance the state of the art, research, the state of practice and translational research infrastructure and best practices, and the state of collaboration, how we can develop multi-institutional solutions together. Uh, and this is not a one-time thing. This is something that we will continue to support through promoting dissemination and engagement, through providing regular updates and revisions, uh, and through facilitating broad collaboration around the uh, agenda. And, and how did we do this? Um, like we do most things at NDSA, through contributed community effort uh, from the NDSA coordination committee, from heads, from working group members, from the community who's given us comments, from the wider community who provided external review, integrating uh, diverse perspectives from many sectors, and uh, through the persistent organization and commitment of the Secretariat to actually turn all of this effort into a document and get it out and bring people to the table to discuss it. So I, I'm very happy to, to be at this next step and to welcome in this talk. Thank you. <laughs>